government, winning at 7,601 of the valid votes that have been cast, and Mbaju Jackson, who is the incumbent, is losing that uh, seat um, to Tembo um, in, in that election. If you could flip over to the next election result. In Busongola North, we now know from what we are able to tell that William Nzohu of the Forum for Democratic Change, who is the incumbent, has lost that election, and he has lost that election to the NRM. And that, of course, now shows you that the NRM has flipped over Kasese district from the FDC. We go to Bulambuli. In Bulambuli, the district woman MP Res has been called, and Irene Moloni, who is a former minister for energy, has comfortably won her race at 28,875 of the votes that have been cast against Sarah Wekomba. We come to Bukoto Central, the vice president, big story coming out of Bukoto Central, the vice president of the country, Edward Chiwanuka Sekandi, has lost his election. He has 5,865 of the votes that have been cast, but that's almost uh, twice the votes that have been done by Richard Sebamala. Richard Sebamala is from the Democratic Party. We will correct that as the day goes on. But that shows you that Edward Chiwanuka Sekandi's reign in a parliament after 20 years of uninterrupted reign has come to an end. In Bukonzo County East, an interesting result coming there. Tony Herald of the Forum for Democratic Change holding foot and getting 27,660 of the votes that have been cast. Of course, he retains that seat, but also it's only now only two of six seats that the FDC will be able to retain in the Kasese region. If we could refer back to the next election result that we have, um, of course, that's Bukonzo County East where we just came from. Let's go to Bukoma and Simbi. In Bukoma and Simbi, um, the National Unity Platform's Veronica Nanyondo scoring 28,459 um, of the valid votes that were cast, kicking out the minister, Florence Nachiwala Chiyinji. Florence Nachiwala Chiyinji is one of eight ministers whom we have an eye on who've lost their election results um, from what we are able to take at the district tally centers. Bududa, I already told you the outcome of that. Uh, Agnes Nandutu, former political reporter with us, won that election. In Bududa County, again, John Baptist Nambesha, who is the regional coordinator for the National Unity Platform in that area, has comfortably won his election, 3,512. He is, of course, the incumbent in this race, but he's also very well known for being a vocal member of parliament, challenging the edge limit and challenging the national resistance movement, Yori Kaguta. On every occasion that he gets, he's been able to win that election comfortably. Aswa County, earlier in this uh, afternoon, Okumurigan called to um, offer and tender in um, his uh, speech uh, to the fact that he had lost that election. Um, he got 2,345 of the votes cast. Simon Wokorat of the National Resistance Movement flips over a seat that used to belong to the Forum for Democratic Change and becomes 6,392 of the votes that had been cast. Nyendo Mukungwe in Masaka City, of course, Masaka was split because of the new cities, but Masia Simpuga, who is the National National Unity Platform's um, leader for Buganda has been able to win that election comfortably. 26,810 of the votes that have been cast. Earlier indications had been that Mukasa Mbide would compete in that election. He hasn't competed. He came in at 3,513 of the votes cast in that election. The NRM candidate scored 11,238 of the votes that have been cast. So Matthias Simpuga comfortably comes back to parliament. We're going to be keeping our eyes on Matthias Simpuga because we know from political circles that more big things are coming in his direction. Joel Senyonyi has won his election comfortably. Ronald Balimwezo has won his election comfortably in Nakawa Division East against Ruhindi Frederick, who is the former Deputy Attorney General, and against Kabazi Guruka Michael, who is the incumbent in that race. Um, and Nakawa Division, of course, has flipped over to the National Unity Platform. We are able now to comfortably say that in Kampala, the National Unity Platform holds a very good stronghold in that area. So those are some of the results that we've been able to get for you at the moment in terms of results from different uh, tally centers, results 
that we've been able to get, um, which are final, which have declarations to them. And there are results which are leading, results where we know that people are leading and best off of this set of data that I showed you, we can comfortably tell that there are some results that cannot be flipped over, even if a mathematical equation happened in, in the picture there. Of course, this shows you some of the constituencies that we had a key eye on. Um, I'm showing a result there of Omoro County, where Jacob Bolanya scored 12,373. Of course, Jacob Bolanya is coming for a bigger political war with Rebecca Kadaga in the parliament of Uganda on who becomes the speaker of that parliament. We know that that's a headache for the national resistance movement. Um, Ntungamo municipality, Gerald Karahanga has lost his seat to Yona Musinguzi, a perennial challenger um, in that election. Uh, Yona Musinguzi scored 3,278 of the valid votes cast. Gerald Karanga of the Alliance for National Transformation scored 2,422 of those votes that had been cast. Gerald Karanga, of course, was one of the youngest members of parliament to come to parliament when he did in 2011, but now he has dropped out of parliament. Um, in Maracha East County, uh, Lemachia has been able to comfortably win that election, scoring 12,460 of the votes that have been cast there. Achidri James, who is an independent, scored 6,543. We kept our eyes on this Maracha race um, well into the night yesterday. If you are awake between 2 and 4 a.m., you know that we're counting the results that were coming from that Maracha. Uh, in Maracha County, Oguzu Lee of Forum for Democracy change keeps his seat um, scoring 12,496. Oguzuli had hobnobbed a little bit with the National Unity Platform but remained with the Forum for Democratic Change. Might explain why the National Unity Platform didn't fill the candidate in that election but um, Oguzuli now won that election with 12,496 of the results that we are able to see. In Koboko North, of course, um, there's a Koboko result that I'm going to ask my producers to show you. Um, it's a Koboko result that we've been watching. But in Koboko North, Musa Noah has won that election very comfortably. 7,037 of the votes that have been cast. And his closest challenger came in at 6,720 of the votes that had been cast in that election. Kitgum Municipality, an interesting race to watch. Bitra Sanyua from the Forum for Democratic Change uh, flipped over into the NRM, but now... She's flipped out of parliament. Um, Dennis Onekalit Amere has won that election with 3,263 of the valid votes that have been cast. Beatrice Anwar, who is also a minister among the eight ministers who've lost the elections, has scored 3,052 of the valid votes that have been cast. That's a result we had earlier shown you from Chinchizi West, uh, which shows that James Kaberuka is leading. In Chimanya, Kabonera, Masaka City, again, the national Unity platforms Abed Buanika squad 15,341 of the valid votes cast, winning comfortably against NRM's uh, Robert, who scored 5,864 of the valid votes cast. Um, Abed Buanika is a two time presidential challenger. Um, this time, decided he wanted to try his luck at parliament, and lo and behold, he is into parliament at the moment. Um, that's a result from Kasesa municipality that we had earlier talked about uh, before, uh, where Centenary lost his election. That's the result from Kamuri, where the woman member of parliament race was Rebecca Kadaga with a commanding lead over uh, Salam Musumba. Hardly a tightly fought contest there. Gulu district, again, that's a result that we'd also shown you. 6,098 of the votes that had been cast there. Maybe let me just take you through some of the results that we also have here. Start maybe with Aswa here. In Aswa County, Wokorach Simon Peter won against Okumu Ronald Regan. Already told you Reagan offered his concession speech much earlier in the day and was able to uh, pull out of uh, that race quickly after he lost it. Hoima East Division is also one of those areas where we're seeing a little bit of Changes is Ingoma Patrick Moesige. They are an independent winning the election very comfortably against the National Resistance Movement, which has 
always held on to that. Hoema West to um, choosing to go um, to Ruyonga Joseph there. Ruyonga Joseph of the NRM with 6,369 of the valid votes that had been uh, cast in that election. If I could come to Kabula County here, in Kabula County, Asimwe NOC has comfortably won his election against Kakosa James, of course, needing no introduction on who Kakosa is in this election. Um, Butebo County here, uh, Butebo County is closer to the center. Um, we have Mutono Patrick Lodoy, who has won that election, and he was running against the Mudukoi Fred Oduchu in that election. We're going to take a very short break, but when we return, we're going to comfortably tell you who is winning what election, where are they winning it, what does our parliament composition look like, which party has more members in parliament. We know that one of the stories that's developing now is who's becoming the leading opposition party in parliament, and those are results that we're going to be able to convey to you all through this dark night shift that we're going into. Let's take a very short break and return with more results. Orange Sky View Everything brand new with Orange Sky View Orange Sky View The sky is a limit Sky view will cool you down under the hot sun. And when you're feeling blue, refresh yourself. When you're thirst, if you're craving for the best, Sky view is your taste. Refresh yourself with a cool, fantabulous Sky view. Sky view, go extreme. Sky view orange is a product of the Reham family. Appreciation for the things you do. Send you for today, and we send you for tomorrow. Send you for every time and everywhere you go. We love you so, and we enjoy it. I do with you. We are happy, happy, happy to know that we will go with you. That's why we say, send you, send you, send you. MTN Yekwebaza, it is sent you for Roku to London Mubanji. Kuzisa MTN Mobile Money, bundles, or Impereza MTN in Darayuna, where we the sent you points. Joko Moku Kuzisa, Joko Moku from the sent you points. Toya Moku Wiza, a Miyaka Minja Jijamuma, so Unga Tulifena, sent you. Sufu, kukufu mwaya tiyo ne dondolo wa mai baka na stikombo Ye, tuba yi yiri za Ye, chima tuka, tuba yi ya muzidirwe za kabi Hatenga ziri fitingi E, da chika, data, SMS Mu mai baka na stikombo Bisatu mchimu Oku kuwa muwendo ogusinga Oku siga lango kwa atagana na aboru ganda Nemi kwa no Oku tukiza mai baka na voice combo Nyiga sita chiku mista bidi sita emu hoshi Oku tandika Airtel, the smartphone network
happy that uh, the commission is invigorated, really coming out strong. of UG Decides 2021, I am Sandra Twinoblio and Susan Mujawa Ananda on the sign language. We would ideally be welcoming you to NTV Weekend Edition, but, but as it is, we are we as Ugandans are counting down to who gets to decide on leading the country for the next five years. Well, as we speak, the Electoral Commission chairperson is right on standby to give us the latest provision results of who is leading in the presidential races. Let us now take you over there. 2021. Lord Chair, you are welcome to address us this 